So this is the standard clutch fitted to a 93 ZXR750 L1. Uh, there's no springs attached at the moment so I can show you how it works. This is your release plate when you push the clutch. This plate is pulled or pushed away from the friction material. Now the way the slip clutch works, when you down change or release the throttle, this inner basket which is the drive to the gearbox pops out. You see how you have the cams inside work against that spring to push the basket out. Well, the basket touches the inside of the release plate. Against these pegs, which releases the pressure on the clutch to give you what we call a back torque limit. Back torque limiting clutch. And the way you tune this, the standard, all the metal plates inside are 2.3 millimeters thick. And the way you add more slip to the clutch is by changing these metal plates for thinner ones. I've changed three of them for two millimeter thick plates. So the release plate is 0.9 millimeters closer to the inner orb. So on down changes and deceleration, the inner hub touches the outer release plate a little bit sooner to release the pressure on the stack to give you more slip. Now a standard, the last friction plate goes in these tabs, but the problem you've got when you take stack height out by reducing the thickness of the metal plates is as the clutch wears this outer plate bottoms out on the basket so you get clutch slip. So if you go to tune the slipper clutch, just rotate them put them in the same slots as the rest of the clutch <clears throat> thereby eliminating the clutch slip you also need to change the clutch springs from standard with uprated ones these are EBC 10 to 15 percent uprated springs so the clutch lever is a little harder but uh, it'll make the clutch work a bit better it won't slip under acceleration, but it will slip under deceleration. The thinner 2mm plates is 13089-026. You can get them from most Kawasaki dealers. They're about £3 each, which is about $5 a piece.